May the funk be with you as we toast to the boogie. Hi, Casey. So you're listening to Snoop Dogg's Seven Days of Funk. Have you heard this album already? No, I haven't heard it yet. Now that you're listening to it, what do you think? Yeah, I'll give it a shot. I'll listen to it. Well, who is your, like, currently your favorite hip-hop artist right now? Uh, at the current moment, I like Abso, you know, Kendrick. Uh, I like I like a lot of different genres, you know, so I dibble and dabble in all aspects. All right, we're here with Jake, and you're listening to Snoop Dogg's Seven Days of Funk. What do you think so far? I love it. You know, if there was an eighth day of funk, it'd be like uh, a mix of Hanukkah and Kwanzaa. Not because he's black or anything, but, uh, you know, it's like... Snoop Dogg, he keeps making great music, and the guy has just like been doing it for over 20 years, and you gotta have respect for the fact that he's still making good music, and it hasn't like gotten dull or anything. So a lot of people are saying that since this is the first time Snoop Dogg has worked with a single producer since the release of his album Dogg is Style over 20 years ago, that it's kind of a return to the old Snoop Dogg that we love, and that was kind of same smooth music. What is your opinion on that? Well, I love it so much. I feel three years old again, and I haven't felt that way in a long time. Like, honestly, my three-year-old self would be fucking getting down to Snoop Dogg and shit, and I would love it, you know? I feel, I feel young again. Hey guys, I'm here on Sunset with Vale, and you are studying to be an engineer at the Los Angeles Recording School, so obviously you know a little bit about music. So, tell me about Charles Gambino. You just got the album and all that, so you're already a fan. I've been a fan since some um, since like last year when he dropped royalties. Like he had like a lot of good selections. Like I'm a fan of RZA. I liked how he approached him on that track and like just the way he, his style is, really. All right, his new album, his new EP, Because the Internet, dropped this week. What is your favorite song on the album so far that you've heard? Um, the song with him and Chance the Rapper and Jenea Keo, of course, like, she fine. Okay. Like. <laughs> right, and she's from L.A., so we want to give love to Janae. Uh, Childish Gambino received a lot of controversy with his last album. People were like, okay, you're joking. Um, do you think that this year he's kind of making a name for himself? Yeah, he got more mature with it, like... Um, he switched up, like now he's singing more this year than last year, and that brought a new sound to the music. Alright guys, I'm out here with Ronnie, and we were just jamming to R. Kelly's new Black Panties. What do you think of his album? I think his album is fucking hot, actually. It sounds, it sounds, uh, it sounds like, it's, like it's off the chain, like he did, he did good on it. I didn't know he dropped one until, until just recently, but no, it's, it's good. It's good to hear from R. Kelly again, one of the uh, R&B favorites. All right, we're here with Nini, and you're listening to Do What You Want With Your Body with Lady Gaga and R. Kelly. Do you like this song? Yeah, I like it. I love Lady Gaga. Okay. All right, so do you listen to a lot of hip-hop music? No, not really. Like, now, earlier I asked, you were talking about R. Kelly, actually, and you said that you were not a, a huge fan of him right now. And I know that on Twitter, he just did a thing where he says, ask R. Kelly, and people asked him questions. If you could ask him one question, what would it be? Well, I would ask him, like, Will you ever release a deodorant with Axe that smells like urine? <laughs> wow. Wow. But as a musician, do you like his music? Have you heard any of his stuff? Um, yeah. Remember Space Jam? I heard I Believe I Can Fly. But you're not a fan of his current song? I haven't really listened to his current songs, actually. Cool Flame TV, First to Be Fresh. <laughs> Yo, what's poppin'? It's Bill from Eagle, California, you feel me? It's fresh to be fresh, and with Cool Flame just kicking it, you feel me? I'm Nina from Sweden, and you're watching Cool Flame TV.